Holly Willoughby allegedly threatened to go AWOL on this morning, according to reports, and warned ITV that she wouldn't show up for work after news of Philip Schofield's affair emerged. Wow. It's all coming out now, isn't it? More on that later. Meanwhile, Philip Schofield was spotted out and about on Saturday night celebrating, as he was seen for the first time since taking aim at the three S's of showbiz, amid his controversial TV comeback. He joined his wife and friends at a West London pub, and even brought along his pet pooch, just 48 hours ahead of Castaway's first episode. A source said, Philip was with his wife and a group of friends. He seemed in good spirits and looked like he was enjoying himself, it looked like they were attending an engagement party for a friend and he helped himself to some cake too. He posed for selfies with fans, then later shared a goodbye hug with a pal before hopping into a waiting taxi. Yes, Schofield certainly appears to be reveling in the spotlight, as his show cast away dredges up all the murky secrets some people would prefer to keep hidden, and it looks to be turning into exactly the revenge platform Phil was waiting for, to bring down those involved in his downfall. Now back to Holly Willoughby, who is snubbing his mocks and jibes, preferring instead to use the extra publicity to peddle her wild moon wares. Could his brand-obsessed former bestie be one of the three people he implied betrayed him? Very likely. The scandal has now resurfaced thanks to Philip's upcoming appearance on Channel 5's Castaway, and the disgraced TV presenter appears to be using the show as an opportunity to have his say before he bows out, with speculation growing that it will be his last TV appearance. But now, TV execs have reportedly hit back after news of Philip's new show was revealed, and his comments about ITV and his former colleagues start to emerge. Although the series doesn't start until Monday evening, some media outlets have reported what is said in the three-part series, including a few thinly-veiled digs at his old boss, and also Holly Willoughby. When rumors of Philip's affair started to spread, ITV execs asked the presenter repeatedly if he was having an affair, claiming he was looking them in the eye while denying it. But after Holly reportedly felt Philip had withheld details of his brother's arrest, she started to threaten not to show up to work if Philip was still there. A source said, she didn't want it to go public, but people had sniffed out last year that they were no longer friends. Their rift got so bad, that according to a source, Kevin Ligo, head of television, was grilled by MPs with Philip continuing to firmly deny the affair. It was even suggested to Philip that he step down from this morning with Holly and continue with his other commitments. But he went on to admit to the affair, which one ITV boss describes as a power discrepancy. ITV declined to comment on the new allegations, and Holly Willoughby's reps have been approached for comment on this new story. So, will Holly come back and hit Phil where it hurts or will she keep stum? There's one thing for sure, that decision will likely be based on whether her response will add or subtract to the contents of her pocket, just in our own opinion of course. In other revelations, Philip Schofield allegedly secretly met with ITV bosses just months before his TV return and made demands after feeling he had been let down by the channel. Schofield quit ITV in May 2023 after it emerged he had been having an affair with a young runner on this morning, something he had previously denied. But there is furious anger reserved for XX and for his former co-host Holly Willoughby, who he is understood to no longer be friends with. Despite Schofield's criticisms of his former employer and colleagues on Castaway, it has been reported that he made overtures to ITV and had demanded an apology and even a return to the channel. Wow. Reports suggest that YMU, who was Schofield's former agency, had asked for a meeting with ITV bosses and Molly Lowe, Schofield's eldest daughter who is also his publicist. Paul Worsley, the boss of YMU, and Molly had complained about the treatment of Schofield by the broadcaster and asked whether he had been blacklisted and demanded an apology. There was some tension as ITV insisted that they do not have a blacklist and would not be offering an apology as Schofield had resigned from his roles and had not been sacked from his positions. Schofield has claimed differently in his castaway show, on which he insists, I don't quit. I'm fired, but I never quit. So who is telling the truth? Speaking on his new Channel 5 series, Schofield said that he loved going to BBC's television centre when he was a teenager, which became the site where ITV filmed this morning. He said that his love for the building had been tainted by what happened to him when he quit. Schofield said, When what happened to me happened to me, it screwed up my favourite building in the world, and it pretty well blew away all those happy memories. And suddenly the place became hostile to me, and that was heartbreaking. 
and the people who did it to me. No, they know how important that building was to me. They know that when you throw someone under a bus, you've got to have a really bloody good reason to do it. Brand, ambition is not good enough. It's not a good enough reason to throw someone under a bus. Schofield then went on to hit out at the channel further, saying, I was just thinking there as I was collecting wood. There are only three S's. One of them is a coward who never stepped up in queue gate. One of them is a coward because they never stepped up when I was being batted by one journalist, and the other one is just brand orientated. Not what you expect, not what you think you're going to get. When it all came to a sudden and very abrupt end, questions were asked about our toxic environment in Parliament. Continuing with his complaints, he added, when you've given so much to somewhere and been so loyal, to have absolutely no loyalty shown to you. I know what I did was unwise, not sensible, but is it enough to absolutely destroy someone? Literally destroy them? ITV have been contacted for a response, who have declined to comment on Schofield's claims about the meeting. With Castaway just hours from airing, things are starting to get dirty. Will there be more mud slinging as they battle it out in a game of he said, she said? Probably. If the Channel 5 show really is Philip Schofield's last chance saloon to wreak revenge on those who crossed him, we'd better sit tight and grab some popcorn, because this fight could get very nasty, indeed. Like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only.